Hi, I'm super excited to see your beautiful face. And yes, today I decided to do a little bit of blending on your face, but before I will take care of it a little bit. I will share how I take care of my face. So I just want you to sit here in front of me and do nothing other than feel relaxed and enjoy the process because it's really very very pleasant process okay which after you after which uh, after which one you will feel great okay <laughs> so first what i'm gonna do is i'll take a little bit of cream it's um moisturizing fresh gel which I always put around my eyes we're gonna do I take this much very little very little and I do something like that and then I'm blending it You don't, I don't usually rub because skin around your eyes super, super sensitive. So I'm trying to be gentle and I also go on the top of it. You can leave a bit. You don't have to blend it so much. Something like that. Okay. After that, I take a little bit, actually, I mix both of them, it's um, uh, collagen uh, with the vitamin C, and this is hyaluronic acid, I just take first, I have to shake it, and after that I just take a little bit This is too much. Like something like that. And I just put drops on your face. Okay. I need to wipe it off. And then I will take a little bit of collagen. I don't usually use it all the time, like so regularly, but maybe maybe I won't use two times, but three times I will use a week, let's say. Okay, you take a bit. This is too much. Same drops, just like we did with the hyaluronic acid. A little bit all over your face, and of course, it have to come a little bit on your neck. It's very important. much things to your neck just like for example you can do on your face you can lift your skin but on your neck there's not much thing you can do so that's why you have to take care of your neck just like on your hands as well so whatever left on your hands after you apply on your face whatever left you just take it and apply on your hands forgot about the tonic kids the most important thing in your skincare routine I would say I do believe it so that's why I'm suggesting to use tonic all the time 
old all the time uh, okay so we are done with this let me just give you a little of wind on your face like that yeah and then I'll just press inside of your skin to build it inside or how can I say push it inside exactly so it get dries so it dries <laughs> and then I also can do something like you know exactly like a tippy top can you call that tippy top? <laughs> okay, I don't know I call it myself a little of tippy top with tips of your finger just makes you feel good exactly like that and a little wind okay so you already feel refreshed good and um, my skin is oily okay so if your skin is oily I will apply this cream it's something like remove this um, oil for some period for eight hours I guess yeah for eight hours it removes covers your oil on your face it don't feel heavy at all after you put it you don't feel sticky at all so that's why I really shake it because it's pretty liquid You see, it's like super liquid. Okay, and I'll just put it on somewhere on your skin so I can be able to blend it. We do as usually we are just putting it on top of it and you feel right how your skin gets soft and smooth and you don't have this oily parts for some period of time I wouldn't use it summertime though I don't know why, but winter time mostly. Before makeup, I use it as a primer sometimes. Sometimes I don't use it. Okay, so I will give a little wind just to make sure that cream dries on your skin a bit and go inside. Okay, something like that. So I usually do that before makeup after makeup okay okay now we will blend some put a little makeup on I'm not gonna use foundation just a little bit of I will brush your eyebrows and I will brush your um, lashes <laughs> forgot for a moment like that and but lashes as well just a little brush your eyebrows just lift them up a bit whenever you lift your eyebrows up a bit if it's possible your eye opens like you have this you know open look okay 
on your eyebrows just a little I like this rough looking sometimes a little bit it's same same thing here I don't mm, you know it's difficult to make eyebrows look identically same identically is the word whatever you understand what I mean like so same because it's impossible uh, so actually when you're not trying to make them look same just to work with whatever you have already it uh, looks more natural more pretty I think so so that's what I'm gonna do with you I have a little tweezing as well just a little very very little hairs I'll plug it out Mascara? I have no idea. Mascara. Mascara. Whatever. Mascara, he says. Mascara. Okay, I'm actually not fan of mascaras, mascaras, <laughs> or whatever. I just don't really enjoy coloring my lashes with mascara. Let me tell you what I do with mine. I usually have this um, eyebrow uh, eyebrow gel that fixes in your eyebrows. That's what I sometimes do. It's like a dark brown color. So I just go with that. Sometimes I do use mascara, of course, but very hard. Just gonna put a little. Let's see if I can do it with my left hand. I can actually. Okay. You can close your eye. Open, close, open, close, open. Okay. Let's try to color it. Your both of my lashes. Just roughly like that. A very little. Very, very little. <laughs> That's good. Take my uh, contouring powder, uh, bronzer, otherwise, and I'll take that brush, I'll dip it inside like that, and I'll just go a little bit. I don't know how can I call it like dumping? No, dumping, whatever. <laughs> Kick off a little bit. <laughs> Close in your eyes and I'll just on the top on your mm, how you call that part right here. I just knew it, I knew it and I forgot it. Okay, you understand right here? I'm just blending it in. That's actually this thing is awesome. I use from Sephora. I don't know which tone is that. Let me see. This one is Zero three dark fun funge dark fonse funge three so it works for me I'm actually white skin like so white my skin is so white sometimes it's super annoying <laughs> how white is that but 
what can I do? And it works as an eyeshadow perfectly for me. I don't really fan of eyeshadow actually. So I'm just using my friend bronzer. You can actually it can work with the liquid bronzer, liquid bronzer as well. And just take, I guess, a little bit longer to blend it out for me. Okay. Blending, blending, blending. Okay, let's put a little bit under your cheekbone. Just a little. And maybe I do put sometimes on the top of my cheekbone. Okay. And after that, just to make sure that I don't put a lot like overput, so I will just blend it with a bigger brush like this. It's super puffy. I think it removes, looks like it's removing extra if you have. something like that and we are also putting a little bit on your jawline right here just to give that a little sharp look a little bit we are also trying to blend it as good as we can so we don't have those sharp lines anywhere we just have that shadow that gives this contouring, which I like. Okay, so I do, you see the brush? So I'm gonna use the tip of this brush just to a little bit contour your nose. A very, very little on the sides, like that. And again, we're gonna blend this out after sometimes I can just help put my finger so I don't have any lines that's not gonna look nice and on the tip of your nose a little bit Also, I go over my uh, forehead like this and a little bit on the sides. It seems like I ha use too much, but no, because it's actually not easy to take it from the, you know, you have to dip it a few times. Okay, this probably is too much. And on the side. thing here okay we can't forget about our neck and I'll just put a little bit on the top and on your ears on your ears a little okay and I think we're done with this. Okay. Let's go now with the blush. And it's like peach color. I would say it's also Sephora. Is it? Yes, Sephora. And it's... I can see the tone doll because there's a lot of stickers here. Mm, no, I can't. Mutt. Oh, no. It's, yes, it's mutt. And I don't know which tone, but it's, it's very nice peach color. Very pretty. So we, we also actually have to dip it a lot of times there. 
I don't know if it's good or if it's bad I like the color I like how it goes on the skin and just a little bit on your apple cheek again dip it in and a little bit on your apple cheek and I can also bring a little bit on the cheekbone a little bit on your cheekbone like that and I use on the tip of your nose also a little don't worry, you know, I'm gonna look like as if it's minus so much thicker as let's say it's gonna look fresh it's not gonna look so heavy on your face because there is impossible to put this um, blush too much it's just hardly very hard to take it from okay so I will just blend it a bit everything with the sponge on your face just to remove extra if you have any okay it's like a quick makeup that I usually do for my face sometimes without foundation Okay, and with the brush, I usually take if there's anything extra on it on my hand like that, and I go all over my face. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> okay, this thing I love it's a sauce um, lipstick, not lipstick. Mm -hmm repair intensive repair i have a lot of trouble with my lips sometimes they're crackly they're dry um so i put on my finger like that and then i take another one and i just a little bit put on the top if i have any problem so it's don't taste anything other than it gives you this little warm feeling on it and then like those cracks really start to disappear I like that thing I don't actually use it a lot I try to use it when it's really bad because I do think if you use too much of any product you're just getting used to it and it's not working anymore same thing with the uh, skincare routine trying to change stuff it's not easy though because you don't know if that product with the if you change anything, for example, let's say tonic if you change. Actually, I don't change my tonic, so I'm not gonna say it. I can't find anything better than I'm already using. But anyway, it's good to change. Starting with the brush paste, toothpaste, sorry, toothpaste and then I would shampoo. So okay we are done with the lips you can just do like that yeah a little bit what else i wanted i don't really want to use concealer or something i will use a little bit of fixing powder okay i'll take a little bit of fixing powder Okay, you know what's annoying thing about that? It just I'm with the black and if it's gonna come on my clothes it's very easy to remove but just still it's annoying. So I'm just dipping it inside like this and then I use this top 
the top of this bottle or cup or whatever is that just to leave extra there I don't want to put it too much and I will go on this T area T zone on the face which is get oily and I just do something like like that exactly okay same thing around your nose And a little bit on your chin. I also sometimes I put put a very little on on the bottom, like under your cheekbone. Okay, that's enough. give a few seconds to set it up on your face and I'll take a big brush again my favorite one and I'll just remove it from your face like that remove, remove, remove okay and that's it you don't have so much makeup on your face but you're looking super fresh and feeling good at the same time because we did that skincare routine before do you like it? Okay, let me fix your under your eyes. Let me just blend it a little bit of this. Um, what do you call that? Again, I forgot. Co bronzer. Bronzer. Bronzing powder, exactly. I will just do a very little inside. Again. Now I'll just go under your eyes, blending around. You can't really see, it just it looks like a little shadow under your eyes. Don't really look like you have any eyeshadows or something. It looks super natural. Something like that. Okay. Now we are done. Okay, you like it, right? Well, whenever you want. I can do that all the time. Okay, have a great day. And I hope to see you soon. You're very welcome.